everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get this holiday inspired makeup look. The eyes and the skin are kept clean and polished while the focal point to this makeup look is the bright lips. Let's talk about base. To prime my skin, I'm using a moisturizer by Scout. The organic pomegranate and white tea rejuvenating cream sits very well underneath your makeup. A great choice for those who have dry skin. To fill in my enlarged pores and to also give me a really nice and smooth canvas, I'm going to be using my Professional Primer from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm going to be using that on the center most part of my face. To create that flawless base look, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in the shade Peach Ivory and I'm going to be using an Artiste foundation brush to apply this all over my face. I like to start by applying my foundation on the areas where I need it the most. This is the side of my face and on my cheeks because that's where I have most of my breakouts. So that's where I want most of my coverage. Use quick light-handed strokes to ensure I have no brush marks. It's time to move on to the second most important step, the brows. I want my brow game to be strong, but not to the point where it looks like I've pulled out a Sharpie. Whether you're using a brow pencil or a powder, you want to make sure that you work with a light hand, moving in the same direction as your hair. You also want to stick to the natural shape of your brow. So I need a little help in the tanning department. And lately I've been obsessing over L'Oreal Paris' Glam Bronze, the Eau du Soleil Bronzer. I'm applying this product not only as a bronzer, but also as a transition color for my contour. I'm also using that same foundation brush on the high points of my face to give me that sun-kissed look. Onto the eyes, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Concealer Palette in Medium and I'm going to be taking the Yellow Corrector shade and applying this as a primer on my eyelids, not forgetting my lower lids as well. I've been obsessed with this eyeshadow stick from Chi Chi. This is a metallic colour in the shade Nude and I just love running it across my lids and on the inner corners of my eyes using my fingers to blend it out. On to powdered eyeshadows now. I'm using my Brilliant and Spellbinding palette from Sigma. And I'm picking up the shade Balmy on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to be taking this into the crease and also slightly above as a transitional shade. Diffuse your eyeshadows out by using both circular and windscreen wiper motions and that's how you can quickly and effectively blend out your eyeshadows in no time. I'm picking up that same Balmy eyeshadow and I'm going to be running this on my lower lash line leaving the inner corners bare. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma Firm Shader E57 and I freaking love it. Soften the edges out by using a bigger, fluffier brush and then we can move on to defining our lash line. With an angled brush, I'm going to be using the shadows Fay and IG2 and I'm going to be lining the outer portions of my lash line. I'm also going to be mixing these two shades and placing it on the outer V of my eye just to give the eye a little bit more definition. I'm using the shades Spellbinding and Solstice. And I'm mixing them together and applying this on the center of my lids to highlight. I'm taking the smaller brush from Bobbi Brown that I used earlier and I'm further softening the lines that I created. Onto Z Mascara, I'm going to be using the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara and I'm going to be applying a small amount on my lashes, both top and bottom lashes. I do want them to look wispy instead of full and clumpy. To further highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to be using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm just going to be applying this over the areas where we applied that first metallic eyeshadow base. I'm also adding a very small amount on the outer corners of my eyes and this is going to help brighten them further. To make this look more festive, I decided to use a gold eyeliner in the waterline from Chi Chi and I'm just going to be lining the inner tea duck area. Now I'm going to give my face a little bit more shape and definition and I'm going to be doing that by using the Astralis AC on Tour Contour and Highlighting Kit. I'm taking the middle shade of contour and I'm going to be applying this to the temples, underneath my cheekbones and also on my jaw just slightly. I do want it to be very subtle um, which is why I'm spending a lot of time just diffusing the product. Onto another palette, I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Theatrical Blush Palette and I'm going to be taking this peachy shade on the same angled brush and I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks, dragging the colour upwards. Today's lip look is going to be bold and red and I'm going to be starting off with a Benefit Benetint. So this is just a red lip tint and I'm building up its color and intensity by applying layers and layers and letting it dry. 
So throughout the day, your lipstick might fade and this color will still be on underneath so it doesn't look when it fades. Now you can leave your look like this. I mean, it's more practical when you're eating and you're with family. Um, you don't have to reapply, but I do want my red lips to be red. So I'm going to be using my Chi Chi lip pencil in the shade Moulin Rouge, and I'm going to be lining my entire lips, slightly filling them in as well. The lipstick that I decided to wear is a matte liquid lipstick and it's by Chi Chi. It's called the Creamy Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Viva La Diva. It is an amazing lip product. It's an amazing shade. I just think it's so Christmassy and it's beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love it. So I'm looking quite tired. So I'm going to be taking my peach concealer and I'm going to be running this underneath my eyes and I'm using my MAC 217 brush to blend this in. Now it's not Christmas without a little bit of sparkle and highlighter. So I'm going to be using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm going to be applying this on the high points of my face. This includes my cheekbones obviously, but also on my cupid's bow and nose bridge. Finish off this look by applying some powder to the areas where you need it. This includes the T-zone area, your cheeks, your chin, anywhere where you get oily. And this is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed my festive holiday inspired makeup look. Tune into my next video which will be up either tomorrow or the next day where I show you guys three really neat Christmas hairstyles. I hope you guys are having a safe and happy holiday so far and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!